Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the last video, we actually talked about this Consensus Assessment Initiative Questionnaire or CAIQ V3.1. So 3.1 is uh, newly released and it has got minor updates from the last version which is CCM V3.0.1. Okay, uh, so, or sorry, CAIQ V3.0.1 but note that uh, a version 4 will be coming out and it's in a peer review state right now if you want you can provide your feedback so we went over a whole bunch of questions and you have many different sections and this is very useful to map and understand your current security posture in the cloud and if you have all the security controls that are truly needed okay now this setup questionnaire they are based on something called the cloud controls metrics this is also something that you can review and you can download as a separate document and that's what we're going to look at in this video so if you look at this this is also coming from the cloud security alliance and they released this document last time uh, on 315 so that's like uh, last week uh, to 2021 uh, and it's in a it's the version 4 Okay, so if you read their description over here, this is a cybersecurity control framework for cloud computing aligned to the CSA best practices that is considered the de facto standard for cloud security and privacy. Very important and very useful. Version 4 of the CCM constitutes a significant upgrade to the previous version. So if you are using the earlier version, you should keep an eye on it and, and understand that now this is a major version release and there is a significant upgrade. So you want to download the latest control, uh, latest document and make sure that you are still compliant. Okay. And here you have a control applicability and metrics now available. A mapping currently available for the version 4 so you can go through all document. Uh, even they have now added the ISO 27001 uh, for the 2018 uh, mapping is also available. Okay, so all you really need to do, there, there'll be a small questionnaire to provide your name information and stuff like that and you just hit download and it's going to download the document for you and if you open it up, uh, this is like uh, the document that uh, you should be looking at and it, if you have gone through the questionnaire, it, would sh it should look kind of similar to you. Uh, you have the control domain again if you are, have any experience with the ISO 20, 27001 or NIST control anything like that so you know that there will be a whole bunch of domains for example CISSP they have uh, a, about 8 domains previously they had even 10 domains uh, so here you have the audit and assurance uh, application interface security then business continuity management uh, then change control uh, then cryptography and uh, over here data center security uh, data security and privacy uh, then they have governance risk compliance human resource uh, identity access management uh, interop interoperability and portability and finally they have uh, infra infrastructure and virtualization security mobile logging and monitoring uh, security incident management uh, supply chain management, uh, threat and vulnerability management, universal endpoint management, uh, and that's about it. So one thing that I want you to kind of uh, take a look at it. So CSC owned uh, and shared. So your responsibility of your security is not always just for the cloud provider. Uh, oftentimes it's a shared responsibility. Okay, so here, uh, CSP, so it's the cloud service provider owned, CSC cloud service provider, uh, CSP owned, consumer, CSC is the consumer owned and sometimes it's shared. So a lot of time you see the IAS, PaaS or SaaS, whether your control applicability and ownership is it shared or it's, it's, it's owned. So over here, for example, some of them so for the first one, audit and assurance, it's always a shared responsibility. For application and interface security, you see this is CSC, this is the consumer owned, okay? Uh, if, it's a, if it's a PLAS application, if it's, a, if it's a SaaS application, it's a shared responsibility. So it's very good to quickly identify which of them are gonna be shared, as you see that most of them are shared. 
and they're very specific one if you are running as a uh, infrastructure as a cloud maybe you if it's completely cloud service provider owned for example this one so let's look at what that one is uh, disaster and response plan for something established document and approve communicate apply evaluate and maintain a disaster response plan to recover from a natural so this is something uh, that your provider will uh, uh, develop you don't have to worry about any of the like a data center uh, failover uh, disaster recovery you don't have to care about anything about them so there are some more of uh, CSP owned and if you go through the different question and different controls you will also know that these controls uh, they are kind of similar to the questionnaire set of questionnaire that you would uh, answer to kind of estimate your current security posture within uh, your own cloud deployment and here they have another tab for uh, scope applicability mapping so you can also look at and uh, see uh, gap level ccm3 uh, and uh, over here let's just uh, not this this one is not a really big document so you can go through a few and hear the acknowledgements for who a lot of uh, excellent people who has uh, developed this particular uh, exercise or document for all of us so here, here we go. So use this along with uh, along with this uh, control assessment initial questionnaire that I talked about. So for that one, uh, you can uh, go and download the questionnaire again. That questionnaire, the set of questionnaire, will be based on the cloud control metrics that we just looked at, and uh, you should be should have a really good start understanding and documenting what you need, what you have, and maybe what you are missing, and then come up with a plan to identify the gaps and close the gaps and track it closely and you will be a champion in cloud deployment. Thanks for watching the video and I'll provide all the links that you need. Thank you.